Hello everyone. Today we will see how to prepare a user login in the Excel VBA. First we will open Excel. We will serve this Excel workbook as macro enabled workbook. We will name this as login form. The serve type as Excel macro enabled workbook. From the developer menu we can go to the visual basic or the shortcut is alt F11. Here, the VBA project login form is created. So by right clicking this from the insert, we can get the user form. We can resize the user form here. We will double click in the name and we will name this as FRM login. Enter. In the caption, we can give user login. Right, we will enter. We will get the toolbox here. If we don't get the toolbox from the view menu, we can get the toolbox. Now we will get a frame. In the name, we will name this as FRA login. In the caption, we will make this empty. Then we will get a label here for the title we can name this as lbl the prefix title in the caption we can give lock in to application when we log in from here we will get into the application where we are going to work right enter from font bold we can change the font size and font as well times new roma from the text align we can align to center right now we will get another label here we'll name this lbl username enter in the caption we can give username with color as symbol english in the font we can change this to bold and font size 16 we can change the font as well now we will copy one more time we will name this lbl password enter in the caption we can give password with hola now we can get a text box here we will name this text box as txt user name enter we can change the font size bold 12 we can change the font as well now we will copy this we will name this txt password right we will enter you will select these two labels in the back color we can give some colors now from the command button we will take and we will name this as cmd login enter in the caption as well we can give login right from font we can change the font 14 and bold also times new roman now we will copy two more times for this second one we will name this cmd clear enter in the caption we can give clear right for the third command button we can give cmd exit in the caption we can give 
exit enter right now user form is ready now we can align this select this and from format align left and we will select this as well from format align right we we'll select these three from format horizontal spacing make equal right we can select this frame that is named as fra lock-in we can give some color from here now it is ready now we will move to the editor window right click and view code we can get into the editor window now we have to start with the user form here we have command button clear exit and login and frame and labels for password title and username and the text boxes for the password and username now we will select the username from the object then from the procedure we will take the initialize now we will delete this we need only this one user form initialize here for the username and password maximum text length we will take 25 so txt username dot max length is equal to 25 also for the password txt password dot max length is equal to 25 right then from here we will take the exit command click even for the command exit button if we click the exit command button the user form has to be exited so unload space the object as me right for the next one command button clear for clear command button when we press the clear command button the username text box and password text box has to be empty so txt username dot text is equal to empty enter txt password dot text is equal to empty then we can set the cursor cursor has to be in the username text box so txt username dot set focus we can set the focus the, set the case to the username text box right that's it in the exit command button we will give a message box if message box when we click the exit button it will ask please confirm to exit please confirm to exit right this question will be appear when we click the exit command button comma then there will be bb yes no also plus bb questions right comma then the title will be we can give confirmation confirmation to exit right it's equal to if we click the yes button from the message box then unload me right message box will appear it will ask for the confirmation if we click the yes then it will unload me if we click no then it will not exit okay now we will get the login command button here if we type the correct username and password then it will jump to the application user form before that we will create the application user form from our excel workbook insert user form we will create an application okay we will name this user form as frm application enter in the caption we can give application then we can give a text box here right we will name this as txt application the caption as well we can give 
application uh, another juice of form be created here now we will go to the juice of form login we'll double click this login we will get into the editor window from here for the username password we will give the if function if txt username is equal to then double course i will give my name as username so banan and txt password is equal to we will give a password within double course a b c uh, dollar sign zero 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 right then then enter unload me we will unload this user form that is login user form then we will jump into the user form application frm application they are only we are going to work the password protection is for the user form application here dot so my dear it will show right enter shift tab else what we will do enter tab txt username will be empty enter txt password will be empty then we will set the case or two usernames then txt username dot set focus right then enter shift tab end if right we'll compile this okay there is an error spelling mistake username right that's the advantage of compiling right correct we will save this we will run this run button or else we can give the f5 function key okay we will give wrong password press the tab key it will move to the next text box okay we will give wrong password as well we will press the clear button both are clear the cursor is in the username text box because we use the set focus then we'll click the exit button it is asking to the confirmation we will click no then we will click yes it is exited now we'll run it again now we will write the correct username password my name and a b c dollar sign triple zero okay okay right now we jumped into the application user form here we are we're going to work what are the things okay one more thing we will add now we will move to the user form login here we will select the txt password here in the properties password character we will set a multiplication sign star sign right we will enter now we will right click this excel bba project then we will insert a module here we will write a module sub procedure so form it means when we run this procedure the use of form login has to be appeared that's why this sub procedure we are writing using so method the use of in name is frm login dot so right when we run this procedure the use of home will run let's check this let's run this right okay now from the customized quick access toolbar from more commands in the right side we can select our current working excel workbook from the left side we can select the macros also from there we can select the procedure which we wrote in the module the so form we can select and add here it will be added 
then we can click into modify and we can add a symbol let's select this one right okay the shortcut is added here in the customized shutdown now we can select this the user one will be appear now we will type the username press tab key it will traceable jump into the next text box we'll type the correct password abc dollar sign triple zero right we can click enter we jumped into here i will show one more trick from the use of one blocking we will select the login command button from the properties we will double click the default it will change to true you can see it is default it means when we click the enter button also this command button will be worked in the use of them only one command button can be default is true right okay we will move to the excel we will write one more time username password now instead of clicking the login button we can press enter thank you